Welcome back to Land and Fishing. I'm here with Audrey, and uh, where are we at? We're in Hamasasa, Florida. We just drove a few hours, so we are so excited to be here. We're down here at Crump's Landing, getting ready for tomorrow, having some good drinks, and uh, listening to some live music, enjoying the atmosphere down here. It's, mm -hmm. it's one of a kind. If you haven't been here, you need to get down here. And tomorrow, what are we doing? We're scalping, one of my favorite things in the entire world. So we are super excited to take you guys along. All right, so we're pulling up on the scallop grounds right now. We just got out here, and there's probably, I don't know, a good 100 boats out here. At least, yep. Yeah, there's a lot. It's, it's What day is it, Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that just shows you how busy it is and how busy scallop seasons are. So to get to the scallop grounds, you can go out of Crystal River or Homosassa. Those are your two quickest ways. We are about a mile and a half from the shore, pretty much on the grass flats exactly in between it. So when you come out of either one of those channels, you're going to go straight out, and if you're coming out of Crystal River, you're going to go to the south a little bit. And if you're coming out of Homosassa, you're going to go to the north. And you will see all the boats out there and be on the grounds. Now, we're on the grounds now, and this is where my experience level is not there. I have no idea what to look for. There's boats everywhere. There's a lot of open areas. Like, there'll be boats where there's no, no boats for a while. It looks like a circle around a huge area. Um, Audrey was telling me that She's been doing it for a long time, so they've had success and non-success over the last 15 years of doing this. And tell me what, like, what y'all look for. Yeah, so originally we looked for boats out here, and then I started looking at the, the swimmers out in the water, and if I see flippers, that means they're going down looking for those scallops. When you go and pull up near one of those boats, I normally look for a big patch of sand, and we go and set our boat right on the edge of the sand. Um, that pushes all the scallops to go hide in the grass and really... Yeah, it pushes the scallops in the grass, and that's where you find them. And so that, we're looking for like tall grass. Yeah. Okay. They, Foot maybe. That. Yeah. Right, that, that's oh grass, man, even maybe long. longer than that. Yeah. And then so, on the sand spots, you find them a lot around it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's kind of how fishing is for me too. It's special mm -hmm. trout out here. Like if you fish the sand spot, those those uh, trout will be right on the edges of it mm -hmm. in the grass. So we're gonna go try and find a sand spot, and then uh, we're gonna take you down and see uh, see what's down there. Heck yeah! Ready? Excited. I'm After a long day of scalloping, one of the best things about Homosassa is the springs. You can go up there, get in the water, and actually cool, cool off in 72 degree water that's like bath water. It's fresh water, it's beautiful, it's spring water. It's an experience everybody should experience. So make sure you go all the way up the river to the top and get into the springs and enjoy what, all of what Homosassa has to offer. Okay. Also, safety first. Follow the law and always have your dive flag out when you're swimming. 
Number two, you need a snorkel set. This allows you to see the scallops on the bottom of the floor. I recommend using baby shampoo as an anti-fog. Number three, you need fins. It's really exhausting if you're out there with no fins, so I highly recommend. And number four, you need a bag. This allows you to take your scallops and stay out in the water as long as you want and not have to come to the boat every time you grab a scallop. And number five, I highly recommend a five gallon bucket. It allows you to keep track and knock over your scallop limit.